Of course, there's more than wheat here at La Homa. Here to talk about canola, Josh Bashong, our extension canola specialist. Josh, what are we seeing in the trials this year? We definitely see impact due to the weather this year. Uh, obviously drought and the harsh, the harsh winter uh, definitely had an impact on our canola crops. Our canola trials, just like producers' fields. Uh, a lot of our trials got planted uh, a little bit later, uh, kind of like this trial, and we saw more uh, stand loss due to those freezes, those early freezes we uh, had last fall, and we had some varieties uh, definitely didn't have as much winter hardiness as some other varieties. Right, and you see that right here with this variety that really was killed down versus, I mean, these around it that they're short, but they're still standing. Yes. Uh, one good thing out of the research plots on years like this, we can definitely use it to our advantage to make selections. Okay. Uh, we don't always have years like this. Unfortunately, some of these varieties are in producers' fields. Right. Uh, so they did take a hit on some of their stands, but uh, a lot of fields out there are not going to be as high a yield potential as we have been seeing in the last few years. But uh, there is still a crop worth uh, managing out there and taking to harvest. All right. You've shown us some freeze damage, but let's see how the crops responded uh, since then. Well, since then, uh, if the racine was bolting and we had open flowers, uh, those early freeze events, we lost a lot of pods. Uh, some events uh, were just due to stress and insects, but in some cases we didn't get complete uh, sterilization of the flowers, so we have some pods uh, that might just have a few seeds in them. Ideally, we want a pod that's fully filled with seeds. Now, just looking for a little good news here, what we do have, it, 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 did the freeze affect quality? Is quality a concern with this with canola? Quality is a concern. Uh, we can have really small seeds if we stay hot and dry. We're going to have really small seeds that's going to impact our yields. Uh, if we want good uh, growing conditions, you know, uh, less than 85 degrees, uh, mild days, you know, and hopefully get some moisture uh, to finish fi finish filling these seeds. Uh, it does have some issues at harvest if we have a crop that we have a lot of biomass and really tiny seeds. It's hard to separate that with the combine. Okay. Uh, so we do have some harvest challenges and we have some crops that were extremely stressed and then we got a decent rain on it. And that second crop after that second rain uh, definitely made a lot better yield than what the originally the plant was going to produce. Yeah. And so we might have a difference in maturity in the field. Uh, so if the producer was planning on direct harvesting, uh, right. straight cutting it with the combine, and he has differences out there in maturity, he's definitely going to prepare that crop for harvest uh, with the swather, uh, with the desiccant, uh, even a crop pusher, uh, just to prepare that crop for harvest to try to even out that maturity son. All right, and finally today, let's talk about insect pressure. What are we seeing out across Oklahoma? Uh, for the most part, uh, fairly clean. Uh, we've seen a few uh, fields that have quite a few aphids in them. We've had some guys spray for. Uh, one that we've seen more of this year would be the harlequin bug. Uh, we're just trying to look into that a little bit more, uh, more or less a stink bug. Uh, so figuring out how much damage those are doing. But aphids, false chinch bugs, uh, variegated cutworms, we've all seen come into the crop this time of year. So we're out there uh, still looking at the crop, seeing if we do need to put an insecticide to protect this crop uh, to limit any more damage. All right, Josh Bashong, canola specialist here at Oklahoma State University. <music>